hi guys uh, welcome back to part 5 uh, tutorial uh, 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 and last time we, we worked with classes right uh, with this edit and remove and add classes and fetch the classes information from the database so in this section we will work with the class says section so uh, uh so we'll start coding right so uh let's open uh the section and the model section uh, like you know uh, what does controllers does and model does and view does i hope you guys are clear enough with this uh, okay so uh, right now uh, i'm not going to uh, write from the beginning for this uh, i'm just going to copy which is my favorite part because i'm lazy from class we'll just write here uh, section after that uh, we'll After that, uh, we'll just change uh, <coughs> this model name, which should be add section model, and this should be uh, edit section model, and this should be remove section model so let's look at it so this is how it's, how it looks right now but uh this is not what we want uh let's change this okay uh okay we also need to change this we'll do it later okay for now so uh Let's give this small panel is here, right? So we'll give it here like this. We need to separate our uh, column default, where it should be. Where we will copy this. Right, and let's give this call md4. And so I can give it the call md8. Uh, call md8 and paste that again. And after that, yeah, this is how it looks, but uh, we need to uh, manage more. More, we need to work. So, uh, I think we don't need this here. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, I'm sorry, this should be like this rule. God, call. Uh, call md4 uh, this should be like this uh, call md4 3 plus call md8 call md8 and let's remove this and this uh, let's indent this part and it should look perfect so it's this is how it should look okay manage class it should be only class information and we need to list the class information list group php uh to do that um 
do that we need to fetch uh, the classes information in this section so we need to go to uh, pages and if uh, if this page is equal to section then uh, we, we need to provide the classes uh, section for example uh, let's do it if page equals to section then echo provide the class data so this is how it works if I remove this there should not be any errors so okay so I need to load uh, the model classes right so uh, let's open up the model classes which fetches the classes information so I think this is the uh, a function that we need uh, as I told you earlier if we provide a class ID then it will uh, uh, return the particular class uh, information for example if I get class ID 1 then it will return uh, uh, ID which is uh, class ID class ID which is equals to 1 or uh, uh, where there will be like class uh, class name uh, 1 and uh, numeric name 1 so this is this is how it works so if uh, we don't have this class ID provided then it will skip this if statement and goes to this uh, uh, SQL statement and returns all the available SQL I'm sorry the class data it returns that so so we need to do is data class data after that this model classes equals to fetch class data so this will uh, provide you the class data which is an array data is an array so uh, th that that class data is provided from here so it will go to that page and provide you that information so let's, let's close that part so we will check if if uh, we have that class data provided uh, let's see yes yes we have that class data so we'll go through the for each uh, class data and key uh, each other we only need the value we don't need the key so uh, let's close that PHP and open that again PHP and okay, this is on um, the bootstrap uh, design so you can check this if you want to uh, so now we'll try to echo the echo value class name then we'll try to equal value numeric name so I think it should display you correctly but the thing is uh, there's something error right it's not okay okay it should be list group item it should be list group clipper list group should be this part okay here it is it should be like this so oh, I forgot did I forgot the ally I think so or we could just use this part okay
I'm sorry, it should be class. Oh. <laughs> Let's get this. Yeah, it's working now. So we need uh it's working, I'm sorry for that. So uh let's uh uh spit that uh man is class part so it should be managed. I think I copy this and again I copy this heading and manage section and click class body here class uh, here should uh display you the the particular class sections uh right now uh it's not it is not going to display you because we need to uh work on this uh but by default uh, uh the f uh by default uh when you visit this class section class uh, it will uh, by default display you the uh, class one section. Uh, for that, well, we need to uh, work a little bit more on this part. To okay, so where I am, yeah, like, let's uh, right here. Okay, PHP if x equals to one, let's give them go. Active, uh, you know this x is not defined, and uh, I have previously defined how it works. So the first one will be active as as expected, and so if we don't have that, uh, we need to display that, right? Okay, to let's close this one. Let's open this one and so class. Let's change. I'm not going to do that again. Class, it should be list group item with no data. Okay, so when you click on this for uh, it should display you the mm, section. For, uh, I'm sorry, class for sections. And for if I click on class one then it should display this uh the class one sections so this is how it works and in and here it's you should be able to add update and delete and view the particular class sections so to do that uh, we uh, obviously we use that uh, as x that uh, we have learned in uh, this this section it's the same thing but we, uh, we need a little bit a little bit complex uh just bear with me and uh, we'll do that successfully okay uh, so let's do this so uh, let me think so first of all we need an ID to define this uh, data uh, each uh, row uniquely so we'll write I think class ID and give them the class ID so let's look if it's working fine I think yes so uh, it's working so we need the Azax to like load uh, the first data and uh, we don't have that class uh, I'm sorry section yes so let's create this and let's give it a bit I think I'll copy this perfect sidebar section we need to call this so let's give them 
plus sidebar and sidebar attribute id if i'm right then this uh, will get the ID of this I'm sorry this and return you the uh, with if you try this let's see what it returns okay, it returns this we only need to get this part right so to do that we'll write class ID equals to so, uh, class sidebar sidebar dot substring seven we can do this way or we can use all uh, the data id and echo value class id2 it's the same thing you can, you can check that it returns you the sixth value so so, but I'm, I'm not going to do this way because, uh, uh, okay, I should uh, console, uh, class ID, so six, okay, it's worked perfectly, so I think I'll remove this, yeah, okay, uh, let's remove this and uh, we'll create a function, so we can use our, uh, for other other part too so let's write class id so let's create a function called get class section and class id again the null if we have class id then um uh, then uh, we'll use the ozax to get to get the uh the each class section so we'll use the base url section page section table and class id type post okay section function response and we'll use this table if you remember we use this right so result equals to html response so right now we haven't created a class for this part so all we need to create so i'm going to paste again from here to here and we don't forget to change this uh, class name section and uh, we need this um, class module class module after that we'll need uh, loading the section module this load module goes to model section uh, that's all for now we need and let's close this class so we will we'll write a uh, public function fetch section table where it should contain a class id so if we have a class id then we'll get the section of the data uh, so i'm sorry sections of the classes so all we need to do is uh, section data this model section uh, for now let, uh, let's give the fetch section data by class uh, class id and let's get the class data to this model section of fetch class data ID so 
Oh, we'll create the table. Okay, and let's give the table. Uh, I'll just copy from up up here. Yeah, I'll just copy from here. Okay, here and I'll change this to section table. Okay, and uh, I'll just remove this and give this section name. Uh, we also need to add a teacher that, that I'll be te I'll, I'll teach you to this part in a just list but first let's just face the thing so so we can be more uh, clear and your body to body and let's give you a dummy data TR Low world how is it how are you so what we need to do is a call table and after that let's phase this but first we need to create a section table right so again copy and paste boom and uh, select the function this function name give class id and let's give it no if class id Okay, uh, SQL select extra from section where class ID equals to this and query this to query SQL and uh, pass class class ID and let's return query result array so right now we don't have any section value i mean data so let's create by default manually i mean okay our uh, section name a class id let's give it six and teacher let's give it by manually uh, i think we have a teacher dot right let's give it two let's go okay that is successfully added so there's an error okay PHA as I expected the section we didn't change this so I think it's again there's an error fetch on the model fetch class data it should be I'm sorry it should be classes okay see so we get this uh, class one uh, section information successfully so we will need to add here uh, uh, add um, add table but first I think uh, I'll try to add that the to do the display here so it's a little bit quick it's quick table let's do this and if section data if there's a section data we'll display them if there's no data then uh, we'll display an error right so tv goes to td Whole span we have like one, two, three, 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 
let's move it to the center no data of a variable so if we have data let's go to for, for loop after that section data key and value okay and we also need the teacher value but i will do it later so button goes to let's add them from classes let's go to classes the last time we added from was here right so let's copy this close this and here let's indent them more so it looks beautiful so here it is so in this part we'll we need add let edit i mean uh and here let's keep this edit section and remove section here we will need the section id and also here we need section id okay tr okay this uh dot and equals to means it appends like it it adds uh uh it like appends the data together if we are uh, remove then it, uh, this dot then uh, the new data it will re it, it will remove the previous data and start a new data but if we keep a period here then it will append the data with the previous data so this is how how, how we'll add the table so here like we need section name here we'll add button and what, what what is another teacher name so we need a teacher name right so uh, for that we'll need to first uh, load the teacher loading the teacher model so this uh, is done before I think we have the function already so fetch section directory id the same logic i'm sorry we don't need to fetch what was the fetch teacher data okay here we'll add um, teacher data this model teacher i'm sorry here it is okay uh, value teacher id yes this is should be teacher id yes so uh, obviously we get an error so let's fix this unexpected this on section 64 so let's go to 64 right oh I forgot to close this so da 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 so it's Yo, and I need to update this by teacher data by giving this name as first name and last name first name teacher and last name yeah it's working so Okay, so let's uh add here add add teach, um so add section part. Uh, I think uh, we'll keep that right above here. Uh, I think we'll also display uh, uh the class name here. So uh, we have here well yes this one. So let's copy this and let's give it class name uh we'll do it from here uh, and let's give it class name 
okay perfect so after that uh, I think we'll uh, need the message t2 for like add uh, section like for edit section uh, section and for uh, that it section we'll need this uh, div to display the uh, uh, message for each op, uh, event so here we'll add uh, uh, add section button so this uh, will work uh, by as we created add section before here so this is how it, it will, we'll, we'll call this model right so let's give it this button button default data model data target get this and obviously on click even we need this uh, okay add section and here we have class ID okay so let's yeah oh, we need to change this table two and I think here we need some space right let's add like PR PR perfect so it's going good so and I think uh, on this one we also need to display this uh, the four classes section so uh, the, uh, the functions was created before right so we just need to call this function uh, uh, in this view part <coughs> part sorry <coughs> so we we'll just uh, edit them by like <coughs> sorry on click PHP will equal the value of class ID and it should call so this will this function will call here and then through the Ajax this function uh, will call this part right and it, it and through the class ID for example and this and this for example as you can see uh, this function uh, while clicking on this this function will give the class value right so like given let's see here so so each uh, value has different class ID so you can see class 6 class 10 so no that uh, you can see uh, we need to update this also so you can see 6 and 10 right so so this function on click function will go to this part right and it will check if there is a class id if the, if, if there if, if class id exists then it will uh, call this uh, control function to retrieve the sections of each classes so uh, it will be call in this function face section table so it will get the class id and through the class id we'll get the, that section uh, information and then after that we'll display them here successfully and return the table and and through that we'll uh, if the, we get the response and display that uh, response to uh, to this div here as you can see and you can see the, uh, the the class information is also changed, and and for that uh, class four we, we don't uh, have a section the sections information, but I think we need to update this uh, part two. So uh, to to do that, we we'll just uh, I I add like two lines of code. So first of all, we we'll just go here and uh, on clear remove the active part remove class active as you can see right now it's call and we remove right so uh, on load this function uh, calls this we don't need to click so it's remove this and by and we can use this class ID class ID with 
class id add class active so here it is so it's beautiful right so now uh, let's uh, update this information so table it's, it's uh, not so hard for this part uh, okay all we all need to do is uh, go to this section part and in here um, we just need to update this by section name here we change to section name here to here and here and we'll need the teacher information too right okay so don't worry so it's easy we we'll just remove this add here on the class select and here control name teacher name i think you know uh, you know how how we uh, get the uh, teacher's information like we did on class it's easy select the teacher uh, okay so i think we need to uh, go back to this page and again uh, we'll do the same with like this copy and paste and we'll load the teacher same uh, here model teacher and we'll get this here and we'll load teacher sorry teacher data here so we'll do the same thing here if we have teacher data else if we if we don't have the teacher data then we'll display them as no data available so let's check that Oh, it's not so we don't have to, we have teachers information on the system right but there's no teacher I think there's something error Let's update this. It's, it's annoying. And if teacher this, okay, well we have a data. I'm sorry, right? We have data. So, uh, look through them. Teacher data, and let's close this for loop, and let's give this PHP equal value teacher id if you remember we are getting this other teacher id and first name and last name okay php value first name value last name so i think we should have the teachers mention so it's good for now So we need to update this also don't forget about this let's update this right so yeah I think it's completed so let's add the section information you should be so let's go back to let's delete. Uh, I'll remove this. 
close that part and let's create our create function for a section uh, create the section function for click function create create oh, we should have the class id class id again uh, copy this too lazy to write it's okay move this so now we need the class name here class name I think we don't need this this and this okay and teacher name name and section name okay valid form will uh, use this section create with class id if it's created successfully created the same logic goes to that and uh, now we'll uh, create a um, uh, cre create a function for the uh, in the model it's easy we'll let the function uh, let's give a comment. Let's insert the section information. Mention create create class ID equals to null if class ID then insert data array for section we need section name and class id and teacher id this input post you know how we'll, we'll get the teacher id yeah well like this for this we'll if you use the class data and for this you know how we'll um, get the section name so uh, let's insert this this to insert section insert data and let's return uh, through otherwise through if it's successful then through then otherwise false so uh i think if you try to add on the, we'll not get any message because we don't we because we didn't pass any class id <sighs> so uh how we are going to pass that id uh, like uh, we can uh put it here or or we can use Azax to uh, do that. I think I'll I'll do Azax functionality to do that. So uh, let's create a function, and you you know that we have added that add section, and it has a class ID, right? So function function class ID. If we have a class ID, it's a lot this class ID to check if it's getting the class ID. A perfect, we have a class ID of six, so it's simple. Uh, it's simple, we'll just copy the function. This one. You want to go here and uh, and we'll change this. Uh, uh, the function name should be create section form. Copy this and yeah, it's all right. Yeah, and 
as I told you that we need to display that um, each message so we can use only the uh, this message or we I think we need to create another message for inside the model I think yeah over here I think we'll um, uh, add section message so otherwise we'll display an error message okay but I think we don't need uh, this and we'll just uh, reset the form after it's successfully added and for the error message it will display this uh, if you, the form uh, validation and if you have a single uh, uh, message then uh, this will be used so so yeah let's uh, check if it's working or not so let's add no it's not working well I'm sorry I forgot to uh, include the class ID it's perfect section fill is required so let's add section A to section B and let's uh, the teacher successfully added but uh, this data is not like uh, loaded uh, we need to do uh, we need to load this data after uh, the uh, new uh, section is added it's simple see you can see that uh, it's added successfully so uh, for that uh, we'll need a function here here and I think we'll uh, use this function we don't need to create another function we'll just uh, use this function or yeah we think I'll use this function so uh, it's easy just to use uh, result as a class and this is a uh, jQuery function uh, section page the table and here we need as add a class ID so I think it's, it will work fine so section so this works section C yeah, it's working see so if we try to add four if this is this should be removed I think oh, uh, this can be done by <coughs> this uh, part <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> But just uh, calling this as long as this, and I think it will work. Click on this section A. Chondo. Yeah, if you uh, click on it, it will move to. Let's add the Leo. Leo Messi. That's done. Okay, uh, the two are successfully added. You can see there. So, yeah, this is uh, how we <coughs> added. So, <coughs> the next part, uh, we'll work with this uh, edit and remove. So, yeah, it's uh, not that complicated. Uh, please follow uh, the next tutorial to uh, how to add, edit, and remove those tables. Yeah, okay, thank you.